Hello and welcome back. Today I'll be going over my Morse code project in Java, which uses your spacebar to mimic a telegraph key. Before I explain how this works, I'll be showing you a demonstration of the program first by writing hi using Morse code. In Morse code, H is represented with four dots and I is represented with two dots. So we're going to be using that. The output you see here in the console is what the program is saving as my current input in Morse. As you saw, through using my spacebar, I was able to get the message hi using Morse code. Now let's go through how this works. In Morse, signals are used to represent dots or dashes, which are either 1 second or 3 seconds long respectively. The program is able to determine if I am pressing down on a key or not by using the Java Abstract Window Toolkit, along with Java Swing, which helps us see if our keyboard is being pressed or not by displaying if it's being pressed or not with the GUI. Here we hold the spacebar for the respective amount of time to get the dots and dashes. Every time I press the spacebar and release it, a calculation is done to determine the amount of time that I was holding the spacebar for. It then adds either a dot or a dash to a variable called Morse word, which depends on how long I've been holding the spacebar for. Every time I want to add a new dash or a dot, I can wait up to a second before pressing the spacebar again. If I waited 3 to 4 seconds, then that signifies that I'm done with the segment of the Morse code and it will convert it into a letter. If I wait 5 or more seconds, it signifies that I'm done with the word itself, and it will add a space to my sentence. Now that we understand how the timing works, it's time to go to the translating part. As I explained, waiting 3 to 4 seconds turns my Morse code message into a letter. But how does it do this? When I'm done adding dots and dashes to my variable called Morse word, the program will check to see where that exact arrangement of dots and dashes is in an array list of Morse code. Once it finds out where it is, it takes that index to get the value of the letter in a corresponding list of the alphabet. For example, when we put four dots for H, the program checked to find out where the four dots were in array list, in which they were at index 7. Remember that these lists start at index 0. Once we found the index of the four dots, it went to the alphabet list to get the value at index 7, and then it added it onto a variable called word. The Morse word variable is then set back to an empty string. That way, we're not mixing up Morse code combinations with each other. The variable word represents the sentence that's printed to the user. Every time we add on a letter, we're adding it to the variable word. When it's been 5 seconds since the last time I've pressed on the keyboard, the program simply adds a space to the variable word and continues like usual. That is the basics of the Morse code program. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. The code for this program is in the GitHub link in the description. Thank you for watching and goodbye.